So guys, stand up for one second, please. Okay, I like to connect people, okay? It isn't about me or you, it's about connection. So look at the person beside you, okay? Give them an actual authentic smile, a high five or a hug, whatever you wanna do. That's better. That's what we like to do. Connection is key. Connection opens up the portal to understand and learn. Now sit down. So, how many here had a childhood dream? Raise of hands. Everyone should be raising their hands right now. And if you aren't, I wonder why. And I ask that to you because there's a few reasons. So, studies have actually shown that after the age of 25, less than 1% who actually had a childhood dream achieved it. That's a statistic that actually is quite astonishing. So what I really want to help you guys do today is truly understand how you can achieve your dreams, whether you're 18, 25, 40, 60, 70, or 80 years old. Look at Colonel Sanders. 70 years old, the guy has KFC. Gives me goosebumps thinking about that. And it's just like, the reason that I talk about the small town giant thing is not about me at all, guys. It's never about me, it's about you guys. It's to raise the opportunity to understand that I want you to imagine this, okay? Imagine you are from a town of 100 people. Not 100,000 people, 100 people, and there is nothing around you. The closest city is two hours away, and that city is 40,000 people, okay? So all you see is bare ground, there's no gym, there's a grocery store the size of a corner over here, and you know everybody's neighbor, okay? And the thing is, when you're in a small town, it's very small-minded. When you talk about a dream to somebody, they're like, what are you talking about? Like, going here, going there, maybe you wanna go somewhere and do a big dream. And I'll tell you what, when I first started doing the weights, at 12 years old, we built a gym from combine tractor parts. And we trained with railroad ties, jumping hay bales, and running on the train track because nothing was around us. And I'll tell you, one time, this is what really kind of hits my heart. This is why I really do what I do. I, I love to teach and share this story. I was 15 years old and we were at a Christmas party. And one of my actual family friends, he looked at me and he says, Matt, what do you want to do after school, after 18 years old? I says, man, I want to go, I want to move to LA, I want to make a dream, I want to do personal training, and I want to help, really help people in this industry. He looked at me and said, you got to be kidding me. Are you, are, you, are you a joke? And to this day, that really hit my heart because that really like took me down for a couple of weeks. And I actually was in tears at that time afterwards thinking, man, like my family friend doesn't even believe I can do this but I realized it wasn't about them. In fact, that is what drew the potential to realize we can achieve something bigger than ourselves. Here's my town, okay? There's three streets, okay? That is a town where I grew up for 18 years. And I show that because when I first took Genevieve there, she's from Montreal. She looked and she couldn't speak for a few minutes. She said, you lived here? How do you eat? Well, we we butchered cows, I butchered chickens, that's how we ate for 18 years. And I say this because I want all of you to leave. My outcome on this is for all you guys, I don't care what age you are, to realize if there is something you want in here, go and do it and take the step because you're gonna get no. Look at that picture, okay, what do you think of? I've got six principles that I feel will change your life if you listen. And Camille set us all up for an amazing meditation for you to open your hearts to receive it. But you have to be willing to receive this. And the first principle is looking through that big door, opening it wide open, and realizing what behind it is your dream. And the first step is build it. Create your vision. Have a one-page Literally, write this down. If you weren't in this down, big mistake. Get your pen and paper out, write this down right now. Very important. There's a few steps 
what I'm sharing with you guys is not, it's not science. I didn't go to school for this. I learned from failing way more than I've succeeded. I've lost over a million dollars in business. I was almost on the streets twice. Um, I failed more because I've realized that if you do not go out there and take the risk to be bold, I don't want to be 60 and looking at my deathbed saying, why didn't I jump? And all the kids in here, I want to see you, the kids, I want to see those kids open their hearts up and say, you know what? You can be something when you're 25. You can go out there and help change lives. Whether you want to be a musician, you want to be you know, a physicist, you want to be a teacher like Dr. Uh, Isaiah was, or a coach like Camille is, or what we know Herb did with football, all these people, you guys have talents. And we get so restricted by vision because we listen to other people's opinions. What a joke. And the vision is a one page. You take one page of paper, and you start off and you brainstorm, you do a dream phase, and you have no limits. It's the 10x process. So think of your one-year vision 10 times bigger than it is right now. So you have a goal. Think 10 times that. Why not? Ask yourself, how could this one-year goal, maybe you want to move somewhere, but how could, be, how could you earn, if you're making 5000 a month, how could you earn 25000 a month? And take care of your family, have more freedom, take more vacations, have a lifestyle. Anything can be possible. My professor told me, the first year of college, Matt, you're never going to make more than 5000 in my personal training. I said, watch me. And I busted it hard, and I learned, and I failed. And the first two years, I could barely freaking pay the groceries. But by the end of five years, I made 20000 a month. And to this day, she still doesn't look me in the eye because she's unfortunately just can't, doesn't believe it. It's not that I'm trying to prove it. It's that I see these young people. I see people who are older, and I'm like, this is why I coach people. It's not to coach them. It's to help them understand that your limits are yourself, and that sometimes the people around you limit yourself, your potential. When I'm around guys like Ray and Herb and Genevieve and others in this room, you guys have the open potential. Those of you I want to surround myself around because you guys see it and get it, like Morgan as well. And if you can see and build it, then you can obviously go to the next step. And the next step is this picture right here. You take your vision, and here's where the big gap is. We get so distracted by so many things we're trying to work on that we don't focus. And the next step is getting clear and taking the action. Here is what will change your life. If you're an athlete, a business owner, a wife, taking care of kids, and you want to have your own entrepreneurial business, I don't care whatever it is. Maybe you just want to start an idea, just do something. Or you're an employee somewhere and you just aren't happy. Most people will build something on paper, but then they miss the gap of where they want to go. And this is the step that I know Morgan Wright took right now. He's one of my uh, amazing guys I'm working with. And clarity is king. Because when you've got clarity, what you do is you have an opportunity to understand what the subconscious mind can now program to take the action forward. Because we are bombarded with too many things to want to focus on. We want to, do, we want to be a gardener. We want to, be, we want to work at our company. We want to start a business. And we want to take care of kids. And we want to have three levels in our business model. We have all these things, like almost like it's like shiny object syndrome. And that's where people miss the gap in success. I did that. I tried to run through companies, and I terribly failed in the first couple, like massively. But that taught me a lesson. So I want to sit, be able to share the lessons with you guys so you can go into your life and truly make it, all right? So from there, you, what you want to do is, on the vision you've created, is take the three areas in that vision, write them down, and create three actions you'll take now, not tomorrow, not Wednesday, and that's another big gap as well. We miss the boat because we don't take action. Does it happen to you guys? Missing the boat, taking action? Yeah, a couple times. What's that, bud? Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you on that one, man. So the next one here, okay. Now, when you look at that, here's the third principle of achieving your dream. You can have a vision, 
You could have the action steps. But what about, ironically, what about the fire? Heart on fire. Ray took his vision and made it happen. Like he's, he's, a go -get, he's a go getter in life. And the next one is finding your why. The seven steps of finding your why. When I learned this years ago, this changed my life. Because I had all these goals, but I wasn't achieving some of them. I'm like, what's going on? And then I had a really a mentor, Dean Graziosi, one of Tony Robbins' best friends, teach me this. He says, Maddie, you got to work on the seven steps of why. And I says, well, what is that? Well, he explained to me, what you have to do is you've got to find out what your, number one, what is your goal? If my goal was to earn $20,000 a month, you ask the question, why do I want to earn $20,000 a month? Then you ask yourself, well, because maybe I want to, I don't know, have more freedom. Why do you want more freedom? Maybe because I want to see my kids more. Well, why do I want to see your kids more? So you keep going deep and deep, deeper and deeper on the seven layers to find out an emotional why that will literally bring up tears to your eyes. That gets you out of bed with fire in the morning, like your conference, right? That is the why. Seven layers. Not the first two, because the first two is where we usually go. We hear purpose. We hear uh, our mission, our vision in life, which is all fine and dandy. But how do you get up on the days you don't want to get up? The days where you're struggling to get up because you worked your legs and you can't walk. Or the days you're, you're taking care of the kids and you just you can't, you don't know what you're doing. That's the why you need, the fire in your belly. The next one comes down to, I'm going to move past here. Now, why do I have Sydney and Andy on the screen? One big reason. Now, Andy actually is a friend of mine. Andy's trained since he was a kid. And Andy's one of the most successful strength coaches in the world in my eyes. One of the most humble, authentic guys I've ever met. He's actually from PEI and close to where Sydney was, uh, grew up and, and uh, also was born. And the reason I put these two in is because of this. The standard Sydney sets for himself, when I learned this from Andy, is insane. In fact, Andy was saying he almost got fired. <laughs> he almost fired his best friend twice because Sydney sets the highest standards he ever set in his life. It's things that you can't even imagine. And when I think of our lives, all in this room right now, what are the habits we have right now that really get us up in the morning and make us do in our life? It can be simple things like reading every day, meditation like Camille taught us today, things like getting up one hour earlier, watching less television, spending an hour with our, our loved ones or our kids. These are habits that create the why towards the vision because they're clear and they align to higher standards. When you have higher standards, okay, what happens is, then you, when you have a foundation of standards, okay, now what you can do is align to a peak state. What is a peak state? It aligns to five pillars, okay? And these are what I, was, I would teach our, my clients. For example, Morgan knows, Inviev knows, there's five pillars of state that are very critical, okay? And here they are. Write these down, please. The first one is your, is your body physiology. The second is your language. Your third is what you focus on. Your fourth is your intensity. And your fifth is your vibration. Now, why these five? Because if my body, well, you guys don't know, is when I went in the break, I was over in the corner of a room for 30 seconds doing my prep work before a speaking engagement. Because I want to make sure my state is aligned for you. Because you guys pay money to be here. And if I'm not ready, then you guys should go home. Because it ain't worth listening to me. So it's very important to understand that all of us here, when we're in a aligned state in our day, we can be better, more like Camille talked about, more aligned with our partners or our relationships. State is everything. If you want to improve where you are right now, influence people in a positive way. The state aligns everything. And the five pillars set you up for it. And the five pillars leads to impeccable results. Results are action. Okay? Very important. The next comes down to some friends here in the circle that we have, Dorian, Michael, and Stan, is a circle of influence your people. We hear this all the time. Now, the common cliche term is, who do you spend the most time with on those five people. Who are those five people that spend the most time with? I go a bit deeper than that. I look at all the areas of our lives, the financial side, the career, the business, the relationships, your social life, your health and fitness, 
And who are you spending your time with in each area of your life? Because if there is an area you're lacking, well, then who are you spending your time with in that area? If your financial life is lacking, do you have a financial coach? If your relationship is lacking, are you spending time with your partner? You know, what is actually happening there? So your five people will reflect that, but then you want to go deeper and look. If you want to improve health and fitness, hire Ray. If you want to improve mindfulness, well, then hire Camille. Or you want to go and improve your business goals, well, then work with someone like myself. So all basically depends. And maybe it goes back to relationships, hire a relationship coach, or be around people that you can connect with on a deeper level. It's very important that your influence, your circle, is aligned to you because when you have a complete circle, you have one powerful life. Doing it alone is not fun, guys. And having like loving parents, you know, having those people around you, the friendship. Luckily, I packed everything away from my home in Alberta to move here. I came here alone with nobody except NVF, okay? And to a culture, I only speak 10 words of French here. And Jen was bugsy because I know more people here than her, and I only speak the language. Not because, just because I love people. I love to learn, I love to meet great people and learn from them and build that relationship to learn. To me, the people are the most important. Would you not agree, people? So it really is the most important part. So there is a circle of influence, each area of your life, and you're going to look at battery chargers versus battery drainers. Who are the people in your life that are charging your batteries in your life, and who are the people that are draining your batteries because you want to define those two, and sometimes the battery drainers need to go. Would you not agree? Exactly. And those can be tough, can't they? And that's part of the reason why I do the inner circle with the coaching program that I do, because I want to see collective alignment of people in a good environment. So the next piece we have, let's see if it's going to work here for us. There we go. This is the last principle, and really your foundation principle of achieving your dream. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. Going back to the first question I asked you guys, how much time do I have left, by the way? I'm good. Okay, good. Perfect. I try, try to go fast. Thank you. Three minutes. Excellent. I'm going to ask a question to you again. Did you guys have a dream when you were young? Yes or no? Okay. Did you believe in yourself when you were younger? Did you? Yeah, yes. Okay. As you got older, did you find yourself being influenced maybe from the wrong people or in the wrong ways? Yes or no? Of course. Okay. So this last principle, I say it with a lighter voice because it needs to be absorbed, I believe, because it really comes down to this. You, okay? We try to be perfect on everything. Perfection, you can strive for perfection, but you're never going to get perfection. All you can do is keep going forward and just try and try. But so many of us are on social media, thank you, social media, or we're talking to the wrong circle of influence of people, or we're in the wrong relationship, or unfortunately, some people in our family are holding us back. It can be a tough one. But at the end of the day, you determine where you will go in your life. You hold yourself back. It can be a, a real stab in the heart, because I have had that problem many times. I'm, I'll tell you right now, one of my biggest problems, I please people too much. But my problem when I was younger, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm from a small farm. I'm a farm boy. Come on. Who wants to be naive, right? It was me. But as you got, I got experienced those things, and I'm passing on to you guys, you're going to be a people pleaser or a dream chaser? Because dream chasers make things happen. And yes, you are going to fall down, but you are the determined of your future. You create those things, okay? And the last piece is get over yourself. And get over trying to be perfect. Get over trying to be somebody you're not. Get over trying to be like your idol or your, or your person that you're a fan of and be you. Come from yourself. Come from your heart. People want to see the real, not the fake you trying to be somebody else. And if you do that and you do these six principles, these principles didn't come from a book. They came from just the hard knocks of just life. And you follow them, guys, and you act and take action you will achieve your dreams, guaranteed. What I've done for you guys is one quick thing. If any of you guys want the six exercises of these things, these six principles, do them on your own. 
Oh, one second here, guys. There we go. You can email me, and I will send you a PDF of all the six exercises that you guys want, of the six principles, if you like. Okay, at matthewmathpark.com if you guys want, okay? With that being said, how many here, the raise of hands, are going to literally go out today from all these amazing speakers that we have lined up, from the two incredible ones we had in the beginning, the rest we have lined up for the course of the day, and we're actually going to take action towards something we want? Raise of hands. That's better. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.